Congratulations, Boise State. It's a great football team. Um, it's a physical team. It's a tough team. Um, they beat us in all three phases, and they obviously deserved to win the football game from the uh, from the get-go. So, uh, you know, our challenge is to rally back and battle back and see what we can uh, do to finish this season the right way and uh, continue to look forward to, you know, doing that with these kids, and these kids will bounce back. But uh, it's a, a very difficult loss. Um, and again, very good football team. And it was a physical game and uh, got away from us. Did they do anything in terms of game time that surprised you, or did they just execute? Nope, nope, nothing. No, no. I don't think there was any surprises at all that was out there. Um, you know, it was a, a football team that executed at a high level, and, and we had, we had uh, trouble stopping them in all three phases offense, defense, and special teams today. Did bad tackling rear its head again? Sure, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, uh, there was a lot of, there, there's, again, there's a lot of things that go into tackling. Um, and I would first and foremost say the running backs were bouncing off our guys pretty good. So I think the credit needs to go to them and we need to continue to work on, you know, tackling and uh, getting our guys in a position to be able to make those plays. But uh, yes, we had a, uh, definitely a hard time tackling today. Uh, Boise just kind of set the tone there with that uh, first play from Scrimmage. They had a 35-yard run. I don't know if that, that first play, you know, necessarily set the tone for the football game. Um, you know, it was a physical game. And they wanted to be physical on both sides of the football, and that's, you know, that's how they're built. Um, and I believe that if you're going to get into this conference and you're going to knock those guys off the top, you got to find a way to be able to match that physicality. Um, and then they... Uh, they had the, the physicality from that play, but there was many other plays in this game that uh, you know, the physicality factor was uh, in their favor. Coach, when you address the team after a loss like this, when you address them in the locker room, what is it, what do you say to them? Uh, we talk about a lot of things we won't talk in this, about in this room. Um, you know, but there's, uh, it's, where are we? You know, uh, one thing I did tell them that I'll share with you guys is, is six wins doesn't guarantee you a bowl game. I'll tell you that much. Six wins gets you bowl eligible, doesn't get you in a bowl game. So um, they have an awful lot to fight for, and uh, you know they need they need to get themselves ready to go play New Mexico. And I watched that New Mexico team play. I watched every snap of that game today, and they played hard. And uh, they were uh, they were excited about playing football today. So I'm sure they'll be excited to play football next week. So you know our challenge and told the kids we'll get back here on Monday, and uh, you know some other things that we talked about. We'll keep within our team because I just don't think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's anything is, anytime it's bad, it's me. So it's my problem. I got to fix it. All the bad stuff's on me. It's not on them right now. And we do have our discussions as a team. Got a pretty wide array of seniors on this team from mm -hmm. five fifth year seniors to a grad transfers to junior college transfers. Uh, how well have, have, have they come together to help build this program? Oh, I've, you know, those kids that have been here for a long time of, They've been through it all. They've been through a lot in college football. Well, those grad transfers that came in here, they've been through a lot. They've been through all those ups and downs of college football, and I think they've helped this, thing, this team grow through um, those scenarios and those situations that they got themselves in this, into this year. Um, you know, you don't go win those five tough conference games that uh, we found a way to win without good leadership and toughness and a team that's together. And, you know, I don't... I've said that before. I don't think that needs to be said again. Um, but there was some really good leadership there. And, you know, the, the challenging thing is when you get in these moments is, is to have that leadership and, you know, to have that ability to be able to hang in there and fight. And when it doesn't go your way, don't look to point a finger. Don't, you know, put your head down and um, not be able to continue to fight. That's a, hard, that's a hard deal out there for those seniors to go through that. Um, it's a hard deal for this team who breaks the huddle every single day from Mountain West Champs since January, and then they get in that situation, and you know, second to last game of the year, that, uh, that dream's taken away from them. So uh, that's, it's hard for kids to handle that, and I think we showed some good leadership. Even after the game, I think we showed some good leadership, and there's some areas where we can definitely improve.